Bonjour et bienvenue. Hello and welcome to Amber's Language Music and Play video tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you the background to my French song, Bear, Bear, le mouton blanc, Baba White Sheep. This is part of my topic on les animaux or animals, and you can find the song that this video is about in a separate video tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so for this song, it's basically Baba Black Sheep, but I happen to have a white sheep instead, so it's Bear, Bear, le mouton blanc. I'm going to talk you through some of the French language and the sign language that I use in this song. So first of all then we have bear, bear. So for bear, bear, I'm just using the finger spelling sign in BSL for B, which is just forming like binoculars with your hands really. There's like a B on its side, okay. So bear, bear, le mouton blanc. So what I'm doing here is drawing some horns on the sides of my head with my little fingers. And that's the sign for sheep. Blanc um, is white. I don't tend to sign this when I'm doing this song with small children because they find it hard to do all of the signs. But the sign for white is you take the white colour off your shirt and you show everybody like that. So imagine you're wearing a white shirt and then show everybody the colour from it. Okay. So we have Bear, Bear, le mouton blanc. As-tu de la laine? Do you have any wool? So for this, I usually just sign wool, so like that. So imagine you're pulling some wool apart like that with your fingers. So that's what I'm doing with my hands, okay? Okay. As-tu de la laine? And then the answer is, oui. And then, monsieur, I just use the um, BSR sign for man, which you can do with your finger and your thumb and make a beard. Or like that, and there are some other signs out there as well. Um, oui, monsieur, oui, monsieur. Trois, bannière, blen. Now, the French version that I've written of this song, I have three small baskets for a pannier, is a small basket. Okay, so I've got my three baskets full. The reason I've chosen that word is just because it's feminine, so it means that um, the word for full rhymes with it. Okay, so the BSL sign for basket, you would normally draw the bottom of the basket and then you'd um, do the top of the basket like that to show that it was a woven basket. However, because the English version of this song is just three bags full, I decided to use the sign for bag with basket because for most children that would pretty much look like a bag anyway. And it means that you can use the same signs with the English version of the song and help the understanding across the two languages. Okay, so we have trois bannières pleines. Lune, one. So there's number one. Lune pour le maître. And again, I'm just signing man here. Lune pour le maître. Lune pour la dame. For the dame. And that's just um, a BSL sign for lady. Lune pour la dame. Et lune pour le petit. One. For the little. Garçon. Boy. Là-bas. Over there. You can have la petite fille, the little girl, as well, instead. The way that I usually sing this song with children is that I would maybe get one child to dress up as the master or pretend to be the master, another child to pretend to be the dame, and then another child would be the little girl or the little boy over there. What you can do is, if you've only got one child with you, they could be the little child and you can have dolls to be the master and the dame. Or if you've got a large group of children, rather than choosing individual children, you might just choose to use all puppets or all dolls just to save any arguments. You can also do it where each child has three different puppets if you want to. And they could have a child puppet and a man and a lady puppet. So there's lots of different ways that you can have a go with this song with larger groups and with smaller groups and with your child at home. So that's the background to the song and I hope you enjoy the next video which tells you how to sing it. Au revoir!